Hi, today on Becoming a Woman Leader, I want to talk about how to treat people as a woman leader. As women leaders, we are often faulted for breathing ozone layer on others once we get to the top. In fact, some people even say that if you want not to recognize a woman anymore, even if you knew her and she was your friend, give her a leadership position and you will see her true colors. That does not have to be. You and I can change this narrative. And how do we do it? First and foremost, as women leaders, we need to always, always be respectful of people for just being people. Whether you like them or you don't. Whether you agree with them or you don't. Whether they think like you or they don't. Or whether you have the same worldview or not. Remember, to get to the top, you needed that person to get up there. And you still need the same person on your side to stay on your leadership position. Secondly, as women leaders, we need to be genuine with people on what we can deliver and what we cannot. Often, as leaders, we tend to overpromise, And the minute you cannot deliver on what you said, you start, you know, uh, not finding time for people. And that is where part of the problem sits. So let's learn to be true to people and explain explicitly from day one what we can and what we cannot and stick to what we said we could do. Lastly, we need to make time for people. We need to make time to listen to them. You need to make time to consider what it is that they are saying. And when we do all that, the people around us as women leaders will feel part and parcel of our leadership journeys. Remember, it's also true that people always remember not what you tell them, but how you treat them and how you made them feel when they interacted with you. I hope this was helpful. Please follow me on Twitter at Adera Betty and on Facebook at Betty Adera. Be sure also to watch Miss President episodes every Wednesdays 8 to 9 p.m. on KTN Home. See you next time and God bless you all. Thank you.